previously on Sailing Catalpa. We rip our mainsail and head towards Lizard Island. So we've arrived at Lizard Island. We got here safely. Woohoo! It's really windy. So we got to Lizard Island yesterday. We had dramas yesterday with our sail ripping in half, um, but we got here fine. And then we get here and um, everything was good. We anchored up, motor, everything, engine was working perfectly. We went for a bit of a swim and look around the island and we came back to have a shower. So to have a shower on Catalpa, it, um, it's engine driven the hot water. So we put the motor on to have a hot shower. So we went to put the motor on and uh, it went nothing. So we opened the engine bay and it was full of water. Our bilge pump switch, for whatever reason, uh, was switched off. Which meant the bilge pump wasn't going on when there was water in the bilge and there was a lot of water in the bilge. And now our starter motor is not working. So we are at Lizard Island, which is really remote, and um, we have no engine, rip sail. We're um, stranded. So that's our last two days. Let's hope things don't come in threes, like they say they do. But uh. Lee's trying to get the starter motor out now to see if he can get it going, fix it, do something. We don't have a spare one. Say what you want to say, baby. How do you feel right now? Besides being in this engine bay. <laughs> and we thought we'd done everything we needed to do to go, but these tiny little mistakes just stuff everything up. So it's one thing that we've got starter motor issues. Our next drama is Lee can't actually physically get to some of the bolts to get it out. And then even if he can, he doesn't know if he can get it out without removing the motor, which is massive. The bolt is literally under the motor with a steel beam right next to it. There's no access to it. We're in a bit of a pickle. We've got options of you know, being able to get them out of motor here. There's a barge that comes out here. We've also got friends and cans that are going to be heading this way as well. Um, there's options, but this whole getting it out. There's just no way I can get my hand in to access the three bolts. It's so simple. It's like a 10 minute job if you could get to them. But I just cannot get to it. It's literally under the motor. And there's no excess under the motor. The very poorly designed access for a starter motor. So I like really don't know how this one's going to pan out. It's not a matter of a tool that can reach, it's like literally being able to get to it. So I've also got to be careful I don't get stuff that can get wedged down with a spring around my arm that I can't break. So <laughs> so what we're trying to do is that we've got two bolts off, um, there's a third one that's like underneath so Lee's been putting the spinner in so I go under with my finger and feel where it is and then direct him so it goes onto the nut or onto the bolt and he's having trouble getting it on so he can then lever it off but um, he's got one more option. Oh, 
See that one? It just slides on. Mm -hmm. It's loose on. Yeah. And do it. There we go. It's really hard. <laughs> <laughs> right, come up. Get there up a little bit. Yeah, there's no room to swing it though. That, that same thing that I've been telling you from there, that back edge a little bit on the bottom. So not only have we had trouble getting uh, the starter motor unbolted, Lee's also dropped his only two 14 inch spanners underneath the motor into the bilge. There's water in there and we can't see, can't access them. It's one thing. So he's managed to find one. The one he didn't want. And two! So, he got it! <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be on a win now, honey, it's a roll. We're gonna roll. Make it, go with the momentum. It's all coming together now. <sighs> Did you just have a bright idea too? <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> you sure? Some positivity will get you so far. But... <laughs> Come on. There's momentum. We've got to roll with the positive vibes. Look, got our two spanners. Woo! We're on a roll. Next. Do you need a swim? It's a new boat. After some help from our friend Emmanuel of El Orjua, Lee was able to pull out the solenoid. So this is my solenoid, which is, I think, the problem. It's, um, the motor's winding, but only if I put a screwdriver from there to there. But if I turn the key, nothing happens. So there's obviously there's no there's a lack of contact inside there somewhere, and I don't think that's engaging it properly. So we will just have to see what we can do. I'm hoping to maybe pull this apart and see if I can clean it, put it back together. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, well, we're gonna have to wait here until we get a new one. And we're going to have to try for somehow, I don't know how yet, but get that out. I'll have a look, I'll clean this up, see, see what I can do. I'll have a look inside and go from there. It could be burnt out contacts or I have no idea what I'm looking for in here. But well, we'll give it a clean up and see what happens. Is just that corroded. I don't know. I'm gonna have a go. I'm gonna try and clean all this up. But there's no connection in all this. Like that is just so. If you look at these, these are our contacts. They are just so dirty. And they've got to come into contact with this, and that is just so dirty. So there's just no power going through there at all. But there will be soon. As you can see, I've cleaned that terminal up, sanded it, wire brushed it all. You can see the difference in the two connections, the contacts there. Yeah, I've wire brushed the thread so we've got a good contact here when we reconnect the wires. So the next one will be... Oh, it's just so corroded. Get that out and clean that up. Copy. 
to the radio. All right, just wondering uh, whether you guys wanted to go climb the mountain up there. <laughs> yeah, we'd love to. Okay, great, we'll see you then. All right, cheers. Out. Bye. If you take one step then you will be a little closer to your dream than if you stay just where you are Keep that chin held up and fight your battles with your feet where Captain Cook come back in the day. You can see out on the horizon. That's what he was looking at, with his little scope. Trying to figure out how to get out of here. And this is where he done it. Oh, it is only went to the top. <laughs> we haven't got to the top yet. So, it is a beautiful part of the world. And we're just waiting for these 30 knot plus South East trade winds to back off so we can hopefully get to our destination out there which is the cod hole which is unbelievable diving head back to the boat for some food and then head for a snorkel at a nearby reef.
look at that. Happy Father's Day, old chap. Well, thank you, family. To the best oh, daddy in the, the world. You're the best daddy in the whole wide world. Oh, don't go too close. I just wake <laughs> up up here. Oh, yeah. I got some wax, so we're gonna get to Indo really quickly. Mm, it was made with love. Love. So we've just come over the island lease changing the pro propeller. We got a new one. See if we can get up on the plane with our um, dive gear. And then also we'll have a spare propeller. So win win. They say that you do boat work in uh, exotic places. It's pretty true, isn't it, honey? Sure is. Sure is. It was easy. So apparently, a great deal. Different shape blade too. Yeah. So, um, look at the pitch. It's that's really sharp that way. This one's flattened out a bit. So, and just a completely different shape blade. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We're so close to playing in with our dive gear. So, this could just be what we need to make it work and we got a spare prop win, I wouldn't win. have done it otherwise win win here she goes big jump across this massive lake Next time on Sailing Catalpa, we head out and do a spectacular dive out on the Great Barrier Reef. Yeah, to say